there. Welcome back to the Remote Darts League, our final league night. All eyes now on the semi-finals and final tomorrow. And we've just seen a win there for James Richardson. 7-3 over Daryl Fitton. So when we look at the league table, James Richardson out there and clear on top. He cannot be caught. He is the number one going into tomorrow's semi-finals. Sadly for Daryl Fitton, he's there in fifth place. So close to qualifying for the top four. The only man now below the cut that could possibly get in this evening. And it would take a big leg swing. Legs difference would come into play if Gary Robson could win and if Jim Williams was defeated. Uh, we have two players with us now. <clears throat> One of them can rest assured that he's in the uh, final four. And the other is trying to make sure that he doesn't finish with the wooden spoon. A warm welcome to Crocodile Dundee, Paul Hogan and John Boyd Walton. Good evening, gents. Good, Good, Good evening. Good evening. So, Paul, you can play now with a little bit of relief after that first game. Yeah, yeah, I can, yeah. Um, well, I did text uh, James this, this afternoon on Facebook. I mean, do us a favour. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, John Boy, uh, we saw some good form from you against Big Robbo, didn't we? Yeah, he seemed to pick up a little bit. Uh, I texted James this, morning, this afternoon as well. I said, you're lying. Well, Dean Wynn Stanley lied to me. He said, bottom four qualified. Uh, <laughs> sadly not. I, I haven't checked the small print, John, but I, that's one rule I've not seen. Uh, you can, you can pick up one or two more points. Anyway. Yeah, you can pick up one or two more points. It's a free roll for both of you now and a match we're both going to enjoy. You're both going to enjoy, I'm sure. I look back at the record books. Paul Hogan, cast your mind back. Do you remember winning the British Classic in Kettering back in 2005? Yes. You beat yeah. John Boy on the way. Did I? You did. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. No, I beat uh, now. Oh, yeah. In the final. So that could be a good omen. If you can get a win this evening, maybe that'll take you on to the title tomorrow. Who knows? Well, I played John John Boy in a counter game. I was playing. I was playing for Hampshire at the time, and um, he walked into the club and he went, "There's no one in here to beat me tonight." <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, remember that, John? Yeah, I remember that, mate. I remember. I remember uh, us playing in the Isle of Wight years ago. Yeah, years ago, yeah. Yeah, how long have you been with Ange now? Too long. <laughs> well, it's longer than years. that, mate. It's longer than that. <laughs> hang, hang on a minute. This is the remote darts league, not this is your life. <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> let's get you both warmed up. Not a problem. A match All we're looking done. forward to. We'll talk again after the game, but we're going to concentrate on the darts for now. As I've mentioned, James Richardson, 7-3 over Daryl Fitton. And coming up after these two, we have Dean Wynn Stanley taking on Jim Williams, Gary Robson on, against Wes Newton, and the final match of the evening, well worth staying with us for, Tony O'Shea taking on Alan Norris. So here we go. Once again, the best of 12 legs. Could we see a 6-6 six, six draw? Or the first man to seven will be our winner. When the practice starts are over, Paul, it will be your darts. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, all ready. All the best, Paul. So first leg is all the best, John. To throw first. Game on. Fifty-five. Get over. Eighty-five. One hundred and forty. Sixty. Fifty five. Forty-five. <clears throat> One hundred. Fifty-five. 
59. Pull requires 151. Hundred and fifty one free ducks. What a beautiful checkout to start this match. A one five one to Paul Hogan. Second leg, John to throw first. Eight to one. Forty five. Eighty-five. One hundred. One hundred and thirty-seven. John, you require one hundred and thirty-eight. Good. Eighty-two. Paul requires one hundred and fifty-eight. One hundred and forty. John, you require fifty-six. In two. Game shot on the second leg to John Walton. Third leg, Paul to throw first. One hundred. Forty-one. One hundred. Ninety-six. One hundred and eighty. The first of the match goes to Paul Hogan. Forty-five. Paul, you require one hundred and twenty-one. One hundred and three. One hundred and twenty-three. Paul, you require eighteen. Eighteen, one dot. It's game shot and the third leg to Paul Hogan. Fourth leg, John to throw first. Eighty-five. <clears throat> One hundred. Sixty. Got down to what that is. And the hang on, uh, forty. One hundred and eighty. One apiece on the one eighty count. One hundred and forty. Sixty. 
121. John, you require 116. Yeah, good. Uh, 42. Paul, you require 100. Uh, 60. John, you require 74. Thirty-four. All you require, forty. Forty-one not. It's game shot and the fourth leg to Paul Hogan. Fifth leg, Paul to throw first. Ninety-five. Forty. One hundred and twenty-one. One hundred and forty. John, you require eighty-one. In three. It's the bullseye. Game shot and the fifth leg to John Walton. A break back. So sixth leg is John to throw first. 82. 140. One hundred and forty. One hundred and thirty nine. One hundred. John, you require one hundred and four. Uh, 88. Something to 88, yeah, thanks. Yeah. All you require 106. 15. Oh. 38. John, you require 16. In one. Game shot and the sixth leg to John Walton. Seventh leg, Paul, to throw first. 
180. 180 number two for John Boy. 41. 81. 100. John requires 140. 100. Paul requires 120. 60. John requires 40. 36. Oh, mm, no five left. Sorry, but we're in the double. Yeah. Thirty-six. Sorry, thirty-six. Sorry score. Paul requires sixty. Sixty. Two oh, dollars. Certainly sixty score. It's the double top. Game shot on the seventh leg to fall. Eighth leg, John to throw first. Sixty-four. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty. Ninety five. Ninety five. Paul, you require ninety. Sixteen. John, you require one hundred and nine. Ah. Paul requires thirty. Thirty three darts. It's there. The eighth leg goes to Paul Hogan. Ninth leg, Paul to throw first. One hundred. Eighty one. Sixty. Eighty one. 
85. Sixty. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty. Sixty-five. Paul requires one hundred and forty-one. Hundred and five. John, you require one hundred and thirty. Yeah, good. Uh, thirty. Thirty school. Paul, you require thirty six. No score. John, you require one hundred. Ninety. Paul, you require thirty six. Oh dear. 18. There John, you, you require 10. Ah, six. <clears throat> Paul requires 18. <clears throat> 18, need to. It's game shot and the ninth leg, Paul Hogan. Tenth leg, John to throw first. Yeah, come on. 45. 55. Seventy ninety five ninety six Sixty. Eighty. Ninety. Eighty-five. One hundred and forty. John, you require one hundred and forty five. Thirty four. Paul, you require fifty. Ninety four. John, you require one hundred and eleven. Seventy-two. Paul, you require sixteen. Sixteen in one dart. It's game shot and the match. Paul Hogan. Unlucky, John. <laughs> uh, one trust in the board. Never mind. John, we'll start with you. Uh, the last couple of nights, in particular, you've seemed so much more relaxed and free flowing. Um, 
Is that a result of playing nine days running in the remote darts league, or was it just a case of relaxing because of your position in the league? Uh, I think it. I've been taking ibuprofen for me shoulder uh, shoulder pain, so that couldn't that could have uh, had something to do with it. But I've just relaxed and tried to play through the pain. But I want not trust in the dartboard. There, uh, you might have noticed some of them were a bit loose. Yeah. But so yeah, obviously that that affects how you're throwing. But Paul played brilliant. You know, I thought. I, were in, I thought we'd, I'd give him a game. Well, indeed. In fact, from 3-3, you had darts in every single leg leading up to the end of the match, so it could have gone the other way. It darts could have gone Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and well done as well, John, for getting the shoulder mentioned in. That completes the bingo card for the week. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get it in again, didn't I? Never mind. Absolutely. But hey, we've enjoyed your company all nine days, John. Thanks for being part of the Remote Darts League. And as you've already said, congratulations there to Paul. Paul, you do finish second in the league table. Now, whatever happens, you can't be caught on leg difference. One point behind the leader. And uh, I'm sure you're full of confidence now going into the semi-finals tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I've, re I've, re I've really enjoyed these last these last nine days. And um, whoever I get, you know, I'll try, I'll try and pull a performance in. Yeah, well, it looks like you're going to be facing either Tony O'Shea or Jim Williams. There is potential Gary Robson could sneak in as well. But I think he would face James Richardson. So I th it looks like it's between O'Shea and Williams for you. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Love to beat it. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good whatever happens. You've had a great series so far, Paul. Congratulations on this evening. Commiserations, John. But we've enjoyed your company, as I say. I've thoroughly last enjoyed the nine days. days. Let's do it again. Yeah. I loved every minute of it. And we're with a, such lovely people, such great friends. And it's been it's been played in the sportsman-like way, honourably and everything. It's been absolutely brilliant. And you have been a star, Richard. Thank you very much for carrying us through the games. Yeah. That's very kind of you, John. I appreciate that. Uh, we will say good night to John Boy. Uh, we will see you know, Paul tomorrow uh, from the Remote Darts League here. We must move on because next up it's Dean Wynn Stanley taking on Jim Williams. Cheers, gents. Well played, Cheers. Paul. Yeah. All the yeah. best. Hello, John. Take care, mate. You still finish the board, Dean? <laughs> yeah, I hope so. If he wins. <laughs> <laughs>